Yay! Hello, everybody. Oh, this is welcome to the uh, test stream for Mimo Live and Twitter. I've been wanting to do this a long time, uh, see how that works. And uh, uh, I have I, today, I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. And then also, I have um, a Mimo start, and I'm uh, testing that, and I'll show you a little bit. Uh, or how how it works and um, all right so um, let's get started with uh, the oh yeah you can ask questions by tweeting your questions at Boeing Software and I will be able to bring the question in and I have a and I'll also show you that in a moment um, I can actually see the the tweets on my phone and then like them and when i like them they show up in my live stream which is neat so um first of all uh let's get over to uh the to my computer here and show you how um how i uh i'm able to um, um able to stream to uh twitter so uh what do we use for the twitter stream we use the uh, RTMP custom RTMP server streaming source and we need two information uh, here the ingest server and the stream key and uh, how do we get those we switch over to the uh, Twitter website uh, if you, I, I think you have to be um, uh, I think you have to be registered uh, and and uh, approved for that. Uh, so uh, it might not be the same for you, but uh, if you are uh, registered, uh, this is my my account here. You will find um, uh, what is it there? Yeah. Uh, you find the more button over here. Uh, let me just highlight that for you. There's a more button here, and uh, there's a media studio link here and you click on that media studio link and that takes you to the twitter studio and the twitter studio uh, you go to the producer and there you can schedule live broadcasts so one of the things um, that and um, I, I can just create a broadcast give it a name uh, a little category where it's uh, where it's supposed to go and um, let me just switch over to that monitor and uh, uh, there's a source and you can have MimoLife as a source and if you set MimoLife up at a as a source you will get uh, then the stream key and uh, this ingest URL information and uh, one thing that's different uh, from this uh, from the from the um, from the Twitter platform, uh, from uh, different to the uh, uh, Facebook or YouTube, is that um, there is no two stages. So once you set up the the broadcast, it goes live immediately, and uh, so basically you should have set up everything in advance um, already. So one other way to stream to Twitter, of course, is use Periscope, and um, the Periscope. Uh, uh, Periscope is built into Mimo Live, so you can just enter your um, your uh, Periscope credentials and create a live stream directly to um, to uh, Twitter and to Periscope. No, to Periscope and from Periscope to Twitter. So um, let me show you uh, how we set up the um, how we set up the the tweets. Um, so we have. A Twitter layer here, and uh, once I've created the account um, or set up the account in my uh, controls uh, in my preference pane and my Mimo Life preference pane, I can select my account here, and then I can go and select the favorites, and then um, you know all the tweets that I um, that I um, like in my in any app on my iPhone will show up here in. Uh, in uh, in my f in my feed, so I'm just unlocking my iPhone here. See if I got any uh, tweets so far. If I don't, I just uh, like the one uh, that my voice has tweeted out. So in just a few seconds, it will show up here um, 
in my live stream. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, the second thing, so this is this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Um, um, uh, Twitter recommends that you stream with four megabits per second um, and uh, uh, 128k for the audio. So I'm doing this now, and I'm I'm looking forward to see how the quality is. Uh, it's only 720p for now, uh, not like uh, Facebook or YouTube where you can stream 1080p. Um, but um, it's um, you know. <laughs> that that's just uh, uh, better for your bandwidth um, uh, requirements and your uh, Mac requirements. So um, the uh, so if you have any questions, just uh, tweet them at me. If you don't, I just uh, I'm just gonna do pretend that there are questions, or I'll just wrap up this <laughs> stream earlier. Um, so uh, let me do the other thing uh, that I wanted to show you. And the other thing I wanted to show you is the, um, um, is uh, concerning the MIMO, uh, the, the uh, NDI. Um, you, as you know, uh, we are big fans of NDI here at Boeing Software uh, because uh, it's a, a great way to uh, connect uh, streaming uh, cameras to MIMO Live. Um, you only need... Um, you only need an Ethernet cable, and uh, that uh, helps you. Uh, and you just plug it in, and um, and and you can use the the the, ca the the camera or other video source. And I think NDI is going to be uh, big uh, moving forward. Uh, but one thing that's been missing all the time was sort of like a consumer grade camera. So. The, uh, for, uh, right now, the most most cameras that are available are PTC cameras. Have, there are a couple of vendors, and those cameras are typically around two thousand US dollars. Uh, there may be maybe now something com some coming out for the uh, cancelled uh, uh, shows, uh, NAB and so forth uh, uh, that have a lower price point, but typically they are pretty expensive because of all the mechanics you have to put into them. And so I've always said, uh, you know, what we need is a cheap consumer grade camera. And the consumer grade camera is uh, about to hit the market. And I'm going to show you right here what it looks like. It's here. Um, I hit the wrong button here. Sorry for that. Uh, just uh, accidentally. <laughs> so, so it's the Mivo Start. Um, and it's a, pri a pretty nice camera. Um, it's it's pretty compact, and basically it has a uh, USB port and a uh, SD card slot, and um, that is basically it. And it streams NDI over um, over Wi-Fi. So uh, one of the neat things is that you can actually use that without a cable but uh, Mivo is also coming out with a with an ethernet adapter that also has power so the power over you can use the camera with power over ethernet and ethernet and NDI so that means that you you don't have to charge the battery um, it's it's gonna have hours and hours and hours and hours of power because the power is coming from the P, uh, the ethernet switch and uh, there's only one cable you have to run to the camera uh, which is a long uh, Ethernet cable, and those Ethernet cables can go up to 300 feet um, without any any problems. So, um, of course, I've got one here, uh, and I can show you. And I should probably move that here. So, <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, so I didn't <laughs> didn't anticipate that to be visible so um and also uh there's a, a neat little app on my iphone i can show you that as well um just uh just a second here uh, i have too many apps so that's the mevo app um i'll switch to my to set up camera setup here oh uh, should have done this. Okay, so yeah. All right, so this is the Mivo app. Um, and 
and uh, I can connect to the Mivo camera. I can connect to multiple cameras and they're planning multi-camera shooting with, uh, with those as well. So I can connect to that camera and uh, then something happens. This is a beta version. So what happens is that I, lo I lose the connection um, to, in this beta version, I lose the connection to the, uh, to the actual NDI feed. I have to just wait until it comes up again and then uh, now I think yeah so we're back and uh, so this only happens w when you start this uh, app and I th I'm sure they're gonna fix that before they ship in uh, May I think was the original plan um, or April or something like that so um, uh, the one cool thing about this camera is that it's a, a virtual PTC camera so I can click here and uh, then move around on the video and as you can see it does the pan and tilt and zoom so if i do a recording of a presentation uh, i can easily follow uh, the speaker and there's also an auto follow feature so it will do that automatically i can pan and zoom uh, i can zoom in even further uh, and pinch to to zoom that's that's pretty neat and you see one of the advantages of ndi is that i can have multiple um multiple um computers getting the same signal so i could do also a uh, backup a backup uh, recording of this uh while i uh, do here my new life presentation all right so um uh if uh, there are no questions on Twitter, then I'm basically done with my program, I think. I have uh, some notes and I can let me just check if there have been any tweets. No, there have not been any tweets yet. So this is one of the things you have to um, try out is like uh, finding uh, the perfect um, way to uh, interact with your audience and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Let's see how this works. And we just have the technology, so you can do a Twitter wall. Uh, maybe if you have an event with, and there's no, not that many events right now, but there will be again sometime, sometimes in the future. And uh, so if you have um, enough uh, you know, uh, audience, then uh, you can do a Twitter wall, or you can uh, ask them questions through Twitter, or have them ask questions through Twitter. And um, let me just ch quickly check my my script here. Um, all right, so yeah. All right, so uh, last chance to do some tweets. Uh, otherwise, I will just wrap it up for today. Uh, it's been a quick stream, but I think I will do more of those. Uh, show you just a couple of things uh, and um until then uh i think uh uh you know stay safe stay at home uh don't get sick uh and uh, i'll see you again soon bye 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 <laughs>